Yeah. Now, let's talk about your relationship with John Oates. Mm -hmm. Where did you meet him? How did that come about? How did the two of you got together? I met John. I was promoting my first single. I had a band, I had a group called the Temp Tones. And the we temp were tones. Temp Tones. Not because of the Temptations, because we were going to Temple University. And because uh, everybody thinks it's Temptations. So it was a vocal group, and uh, we, had a, we had a single uh, that we were promoting around the Philadelphia area. And we were doing uh, uh, one of those things where you'd go, it was, it was a complete R&B crowd. And everybody would lip sync their song. And John had a single. And I didn't know him at the time, and he was also there to promote his single. So we were waiting backstage, and some fight broke out or whatever, and the whole show just went to pieces and was canceled. <laughs> and um, we were on a we were on a second floor. And we went down in a lift together in an elevator, and I said hello to John. I said, "Hey, how you doing?" And that was it. And I found out he was he was also a freshman at Temple, and. Uh, so then we, we started talking, and we realized, of course, we like the same kind of music, and uh, we started sharing apartments together because we were both, our parents lived out, out of town, and we didn't want to be on campus. So we became sort of college roommates, playing songs together, in and out of bands together, uh, again, working very much separately as well. And then after college was over is when we decided to try writing songs together and be Daryl and John. Listen, you and John Oates, in the Rock Music Hall of Fame, widely considered the, the greatest rock duo in the history of music. And not just because you sold a lot of albums and had hit singles, but because you had real influence and were of importance. Those are facts, but do you think of yourself that way? Well, you know, I, I hate I hate labels. I, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy and proud to be considered considered to be that, that kind of a person or, or that kind of an act, you know? I mean, John and I are, uh, we're unique. I, I really believe that we are truly unique in a lot of ways. Number one, we're unique because even though we're perceived as a duo, we're really two very separate people and we've always worked separately. Very seldom did we really collaborate. Now, when we did collaborate, boy, we had Man Eater and Out of Touch and, and uh, a, a number of other songs that we literally wrote together. But the majority of our songs were written separately and our lives were very separate. We appear together on stage, and other than that, we're very, two very separate people. But having said that, you know, there's something about the duality of us that, I don't know, it's, it's just a unique relationship that's, that really works. We egg each other on. Uh, it, it never gets stale. It, it's, it's constantly evolving, and, and uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, always, it's always something new going on, and, and it's a good thing. You know?